Do you all love K-pop? If you do, welcome to this segment. The K-pop musicians we love. The reason why K-pop is loved all around the world. During this time, I, Sam Carter, and n e v e r will be closely examining and exploring K-pop through the musician's point of view. Oh, oh my K-pop! K-pop. Indeed, listeners, it is Oh My K-Pop time. That means in the studio, we have got、um, Neve in the studio. Hello. 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 I am back. <laughs> you're, you're warming up your voice. Hello. Yes. Hello. You, know, you know, you have one of those days where your voice is kind of like,、uh, your register is kind of like、mm. lower than usual. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 something like this. I know exactly、uh, what you're talking、uh, about. Maybe it's the weather changes these mm. days. Mm. Yeah, this sounds、yeah. much cooler, though. Should we do the homage? Yeah, I think we should do this like for a whole day. <clears throat> That was painful. Yeah. No, I'm going to do it with my normal voice. My normal yeah, voice. Hello.、Uh, hello. Hello. We are back. We need to do、oh, a show. Yeah, we do. We do. Right, should we talk about the segment, please? Okay, so we will choose the K pop musician of the hour, look back on their history from their debut till now, and Sam and I will be analyzing the reason why we think they're loved through our point of view. Yeah, we also need the listeners' participation as well. Of course, during the middle of the segment, Sam and I will be side tracks that we like by the artist. And、uh, for today's K pop musician, send in a song by them you want to hear. Tell us why you became their fan. And lastly, you can always send in your request for the K pop musician that you want us to closely examine. We will actively reflect your opinions. Yes, we will. All right, listeners.、Um, by the way, me and Neve are doing a video message for one very lucky listener. Bear、yes. that in mind. By the way, Wendy says we can relate, Sam. Many people fanboying over Neve. I mean, pff, that hair. <laughs> uh, right. You guys are going to fanboy over me right now, too, yeah, right? Do, do it, yeah, they're doing it. They're doing it. <laughs>、um, great. Um, so,、uh, today's K pop musician of the day. Today's K pop musician is amazing. Temi,、yeah. uh, 93 liners.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> With unique music colors and performances, he debuted in 2008. What? That's been 15 years. Wow. Now. He is、Whoa. the youngest member of Shiny. Who is enjoying high popularity around the world? He got an attractive vocal and outstanding performance skills. He is the first member of Shiny to release、uh, a solo album. And not only the members, but the other idols also say that he is good at dancing. <laughs> yes. Not just good, like. He is amazing. Legendary. <laughs>、yeah. And he's a musician who can't be left out in the history of idol dance. And even purple hair goes well with him, which is hard to look good as, <coughs> as you know,、uh, as an Asian. And so he got modifiers such as violets and grape fairies. <laughs> I just read it and. Grape, wait, fa- grape fairies? <laughs> <laughs> What's that in Korean? <laughs> <laughs> And he's also、oh. a talented person who is legendary in appearance. He had a bright smile, a cute face, and good dancing skills. And so he was loved as, a, as known to be like a beautiful man. And he's a special ace who is still in his 30s and still looks、uh, the same. As well, when,、yeah. he, he just got 30. He just turned 30.、Mm-hmm. He, just, he, he just turned. I mean, he literally looks 20. Honestly, it's crazy. Uh, early 20s, too. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. yeah. Well, okay. More information. He participated in, in writing and composing for each album and expanded his music spectrum further and further. Solo singer Temin's music. Let's check them out right now. Yes, we are talking all about Temin today.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, we've got a little bit of、uh, basic info for you、uh, to know. Um, so, um, his real name is actually E. Temin. Oh, he's an E? I didn't know that.、Mm. Or, or Lee. Mm-hmm. For those of you in、uh, mm-hmm. other countries, maybe.、Um, uh, when he was young, he watched Michael Jackson's music video and became really interested in dancing. Sorry for interrupting.、Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's not Temin's music. <laughs>、no. uh, as soon as he debuted, he swept more than 10 rookie awards, received lots of love for his concept of younger brother.、Uh, there's the, the rapper BY's famous saying, You speak in a way that you look like. It's precious. Oh, he does actually.、Mm. Yeah, it goes well with. Yeah, anyways.、Uh, he's got this modifier, which is Kwakwaik's、uh, son over benefits. The more excessive it is, the better it suits Temin. 
Um, he's good at playing piano. He showed his piano skills on various entertainment programs and concert stages. Mm. During the uh, Don't Call Me promotions, he showed this piano break, uh, which wasn't a, not a dance break, basically, on music shows. And uh, Shani, and uh, among SM artists, he's a musician who put out uh, a solo album first, actually. And uh, there's a story about a fan shouting out item in three times and made her wish come t- come true so basically she was like a item in item in item in also known as a sam temin uh-huh. anyways and made the, the the wish become a, a trend basically not only dancing crazy stable vocals oh. perfect live singer too yeah Mm, nice. Interesting facts. Uh, all right. New music information. Uh, the title song of the fourth mini album released yesterday afternoon, uh, which is called Guilty. And six uh, songs with various genres and messages are included in this album. And the song features the grandeur of the 30 member string sound and the dynamic synth sound as well. And unique yet relaxed beat and addictive hook are uh, very, you know, uh, sticking out. Out and very impressive in this song and Tamin introduced about uh, introduced this song uh, saying a song it's a song with dramatic lyrics and a sad melody and the key point of this song's performance is a, a essential movement where you put your hands inside your clothes and hold your chin it's straightforward lyric uh, lyrics uh, that says uh, it's his own way of love even though he hurts the other person with uh, his selfish love Absolutely. Ooh. So uh, we're talking all about uh, Temin today, listeners. Mm-hmm. Um, what an artist he is. Um, somebody who um, I think everyone loves him. That's what's crazy about him. Right. I mean, and also the word sensual uh, really fits mm. him. Like he's iconic when it comes to uh, fashion, uh, how he moves, uh, the, you know, body lines and whatnot. He has his like unique style as an artist. And as I mentioned before, yes, I mean, not many uh, artists, K-pop artists, actually go for purple hair. It's true. And Tamin's one of those artists who actually digest that fashion uh, in a perfect way. Absolutely. In my opinion as well. And uh, he has something... Uh, to him that that really speaks differently with his music. Uh, It can be his vocal, it can be his movement, it can be the lyrics, but nonetheless, he is uh, one of the most talented artists that I can find out. I agree. Mm -hmm. Completely agree. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the S words? Mm -hmm. I think they all describe him. Mm -hmm. You Mm -hmm. mentioned sensual. Mm -hmm. There's there's more Mm -hmm. S words. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so we're fanboying again. I don't know because, like, like I just said, everyone loves Temin. Every guy wants to be him. Yes. Every every girl thinks, "Wow, he's crazy on stage." Mm-hmm. Like his performance skills out of this world. His vo- I think we we sometimes underestimate his vocals though, because vocally he's also so expressive. Right, perfect for the type of music he does as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I've got to say, the new song uh, title song "Guilty" um, uh, was written by a really close young older brother of mine. Mm-hmm. I told you that he did Temin's oh, title. Oh yes, this is the song. I haven't this listened is the to song. it yet. I haven't heard Temin's version. I've just okay. heard the demo. The demo of it. And I remember listening to the demo. Right, this is maybe mm-hmm. two, three weeks ago, mm-hmm. and I thought. This is made for Temin. Only oh. Temin can do this. Oh. And I was like, it's absolutely perfect. And the demo is called Guilty as well. Mm. So obviously it's just it's just like a match made in heaven. Um, so it's, the, it's all the S's. <laughs> this song, I describe it with all the S's. Right, right, yeah. right. I mean, I can't wait to listen to the song. And let us not forget that he's also good at playing piano. Exactly. Mm. Huge, huge. Uh, musician right absolutely Mm -hmm. Uh, dude I think before we move on we should listen to that new song we should this is called Guilty by Kenny With guilty, do you know why I say only Temin can do this? Yes, right. I can actually imagine the how, how the demo would have sounded like. But yeah. then you know when he sings some kind of like this, there's this part that he kind of like raps, but rapping, but like singing, but like giving this attitude at the same time. I think this is like 
uh, really uh, only Temin can pull out. Yeah. And he, he does it so perfectly mm. in his own way that we just listen to it and the melody line, the rhythm and the attitude that he's giving in this song or just, yeah. just Temin himself. It's just... He's just he's just pulled it off. He's just pulled it off perfectly. Mm-hmm. Another brilliant Temin title track that has just come out. So we're talking all about Temin today. Mm-hmm. Please send in a song by them that you want to hear and also tell us about the reason why you became their fan. Yes, please. Lots of oh, so many comments actually. We got a we got big big Temin fans. Wendy says this song suits him so well. And Eve Argentina says, What a song. Anna says, Oh my <laughs> <laughs> with the fire emojis. Oh my. My, my. Just watching on stage. Oh my. Mm-hmm. Be, that's the kind of. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Mm-hmm. I went. Oh yeah. Shao mm-hmm. uh, Chingu says Temin's artistry is fire. Mm. Um, uh, Adina says so beautifully composed. Really like the rhythm, the beat, uh, along with Temin's vocal. Just amazing. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, everyone just loving it. Oh, yeah. Anastasia says he's always so artistic and his music is mysteriously sexy. Mm. Oh, another S word. Not just the S word, mm. mysteriously S mm-hmm. word. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm. Yes, he somehow gives off this like uh, dark vibe in his song uh, from time to time. Yeah. But then that's really, if I have to describe the song in, in color, uh, I wouldn't really say like dark, dark. Right. It has some kind of like brightness. It when does. You, you know, I, I, I'm really not expertise uh, in color <clears throat> segmentizing stuff, but... Uh, you know, like there are like lots of like color black. When you say black, there's like dark night black or like different yeah. kind of like black. And this one's more towards like kind of bright blackish yeah. type of song. Going towards gr- yeah, I think it's because his vocals are quite energetic. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's why. Yeah, mm-hmm. good. Very serious. Uh, mm-hmm. Anastasia says guilty sounds like a um, a double O seven movie soundtrack. Oh, True. the rhythm too. It's six eight, right? It's very double O seven e. Three four. Mm. You can imagine. Yeah, I can imagine me as double O seven. Just yes. Sorry. I'm imagining right now, <laughs> you with that that the, the long hair, <laughs> noir. Sorry. Okay. Well, let's, let's move on. That's the worst. Okay. <laughs> that's, the, that's the worst image I've ever had in my head. It's terrible. Terrible. Uh, dude, we've got we've got more to do when it comes oh, to yes. Temin. We've got three songs to listen we to. We do. We do. Should we? Should we do it? Yes. Right. Let's go. Dude, this, oh, I forgot about this song. This beat is crazy. Mm-hmm. This is called Kredo Danger. Uh, in 2014, August 18th, uh, this song was released after six years of Temin's debut. And it's the title song of his uh, first solo mini album, Ace. And with a combination of strong synth bass and unique percussion, uh, it's a dance song of, uh, uh, of the electro swing. Uh, and uh, Thomas uh, Trollson, uh, who created the theme song for the 2014 Brazil World Cup, as well as Boa's It You Up, uh, TBXQ's Mirotic Chumun, participated in uh, the composition. And uh, the choreography was uh, made by famous um, American choreographer Ian Eastwood. And Temin said, Yisuman gave me homework to record the song and um, brought it back. So I thought it was an opportunity. So I recorded it and gave uh, the recording to him. Soon my solo album came out, just just like that. <laughs> and his album sales were uh, high, receiving positive reviews from the uh, critics. It was Temin's personal meaningful activities to build a career. And the lyrics of Still It, Still It were super power. So the original title was Superpower. And maybe because of this, there's a choreography that looks like he's gathering uh, energy. Oh, so it has to do with like previous title of the song. And Seo Jin wrote this uh, lyrics to the song. And the lyrics tell the story of stealing the heart of an iron-clad woman. They do indeed. This is one of my favorite songs, especially this part. Ooh. I-, I love the danger part. You can't help but sing it. Um, this song, it's just, it's kind of, it's very shiny Right. It's very shiny with the kind of melody styles, but the rhythms in the verse, I love. Mm-hmm. The verse is so, it's so different. Right. This is like really 
for solo song. I know it, it has this like shiny vibe to it. I think it has to do with the vocal production, how they uh, are made up in, in, in the song. But uh, also, uh, the lines are not really long. Like there aren't that many lines that a group has to sing it. Mm. So I think this song really fits to a uh, Taemin. And I believe Isma made a good call, you know, making this title song. So good. I can't help but sing along to Danger. It's yeah. so catchy. Uh, should we have a listen to a bit more, guys? This is, uh, of course, called uh, Cradle Danger. Right, song mm. number two. This is called Move. It's the title track of Taemin's second full-length album, Move, uh, that's released on October 16th, 2017. It's a song that represents Taemin with a fascinating atmospheric uh, and uh, included choreography. And it's a PB R&B song with a rhythmic and dreamy atmosphere. It's a song that spreads a uh, move, a disease uh, all over the world. And, and uh, the heavy bass, movement and syncopation rhythm uh, are very impressive in this song and lyrics maturely expresses uh, admiration and strong attraction for the beauty of the person uh, who's in love and billboard uh, ranked uh, ranked this song uh, 85th among the 100 best k-pop songs of uh, in 2010s and it was 86th out of the 100 greatest songs in K-pop history by Rolling Stone in the US and the reason for the selection was uh, with genderless choreograph choreography it's a song that became a sensation among idols and dancers mm. it did man yes. this I still remember this was just it blew the mind of K-pop fans around the world right and I do remember K-pop is a combination of really visual arts and, yeah. and the music itself and the choreography visual arts includes choreography as well I think this song especially this song uh, when it comes to the song Moon all I can think of is really this this uh, specific movement in the song yeah yeah yeah, yeah. this the, part too yeah it's the the hips and the in 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 all oh, oh, right. it's the h word right i think yeah. it shows the uh, really like uh, what temin can show yeah. uh performance wise uh in the best way possible at the time i think this really brought uh this choreographer's yeah. uh, attention all over the world uh, yeah, it's one of those choreographies which gives you a shiver mm -hmm. in your spine because it's just so in synergy with the music. It's great. Yeah. I think we we underestimate though. I think in this song vocally, he sounds incredible. Oh yeah, this kind of melody is really hard to make it come alive. Mm -hmm. But I feel like every single note is just so alive with like passion and energy, and it's just vocally his performance in this song is incredible too i agree i, think, I agree yeah. mm -hmm. so good um it's his iconic song isn't it this one's called move This one. Oh, this is such a oh. crazy song, isn't it? This is my favorite, actually. This is called Advice. Uh, it's the title song of Temin's third mini album released on May 18th, 2021. The, it's the last album before joining the military. And it's a minor a piano melody and a choir are combined on a trap beat. It's an R&B song that creates a grand atmosphere. And it's expressed as if it expressed as if pouring out a lot of subtle emotions. Temin's sharp singing rap. 
Uh, it's really, really uh, sticking out in this song. Very attractive, and it got number one on iTunes top album chart in 41 regions around the world on the day of release. And the demo song was for originally female, but it didn't seem good uh, or sound good uh, or it fit uh, really good on Temin, so he lowered the key and so he recorded it in the original key. Oh, crazy. Oh, so crazy. he didn't lower the song, he just sang it yeah. in his, his uh, original key. Oh, all right. The lyrics are about warning to uh, warning uh, to people who are obsessed with stereotypes and judge others. This song, truly, <clears throat> truly, truly unique, this one, man. This is my uh, uh, the most favorite song out of Temin's song, actually. I mean, we mentioned that he's good at playing piano. I think he shows his ability to. Yeah. But at the same time, this is uh, so, how should I say, original. It very, is so very, original. very original. Uh, what I'm saying is that the line, top lining, like the, the production. Uh, the idea of doing this like singing type rapping on yeah. top of a trap bit but then combining it with uh, just like classic piano and visually too you know if you watch the music video it also shows some like trendiness in, in the music video uh, when it comes to uh, visual uh, and stuff and, and yeah, this is just my favorite <laughs> It's so I genuinely good. enjoy it. You were, you were mentioning the, the melody raps in this one. I think it shows a different tone that maybe I hadn't heard from Temin before. Right, he it's was, very, yeah. very sharp. Yeah, he, mm -hmm. was, he was always very breathy and kind of mm -hmm. uh, seductive, but a little bit different this one, right? Right. Yeah. Um, love this one as well, it's called Advice. too high oh. I can't yeah. sing it didn't know we were recording but yes it's really yes. high this how this, do you do it I, it just I don't know it, it's just like so uh, to me so temin you know so yeah. temin you it know? is so temin and um, I have so many things to say about this song it's just like a great um, attempt or like uh, challenges mm. uh, I'm sure that were given to Temin mm. as for what kind of like album that he had to release after after the previous album right. and it was right before him entering the military as well so he want, probably wanted to give something very um, iconic uh, that kind of leaves his footsteps uh, in the right place I think uh, that's why I assume that he uh, chose the best song that can show him yeah. to the audience. So in that sense as well, I huge respect to Temin for you know taking a step uh, into like uh, to forward yeah. um, as an artist. Absolutely. Mm. He left an impact, didn't he? Uh, Anastasia says, advice, the key is so high, it sounds like a sped up version. <laughs> and we were trying to sing along with it, we couldn't do it. That's how high it is. Oh. I'm just gonna go to the safe route. <laughs> That's very high. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, for listeners, your ears. Yeah, my my bad. My I bad. genuinely enjoyed it. Yeah, thank you, mate. <laughs> Good. Um, right, me and you. Um, we we had a tough time choosing uh, Temin songs. Yes. Well, I had my my original intentions of uh, picking the songs, so it was relatively a bit easier because I wanted to bring some ballad. Ooh, okay. Uh, for for today, just because you know we all know Temin's great in everything, but mm. then I'm sure that I myself included, I haven't actually checked out Temin's ballad song. So I personally wanted to experience um, uh, his ballad version and, yeah. and bring it to you guys. So I was lis listening to this song called My Day. Uh, by Temin. This was released in 2021 and it was the OST of uh, this uh, K-drama called Navilera. 
Ah, ah, right, 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 right. Uh, ah, yeah. yes, and 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 it's really I wouldn't say typical ballad line, but then it has this like unique top lining, which is like melody composing, uh, composition in the song, uh, on top of this like uh, standard ballad chord progression, and you know normally uh, if a, uh, if a singer sings the line, it would sound uh, like. Typical ballad, yeah. But then because Tamin sang on it, um, that also made me kind of like realize again that it, it it's not about the melodies. Sometimes it's about who sings the song. Yeah, and it was a new experience for me of like figuring out, finding out Tamin's new uh, new self. You know, new, new um, I would say musical face. Yeah, uh, he had a very tender voice. Mm -hmm. Then he uh, didn't lose his kind of like sharpness in mm. his vocal as well, and it's about a, a, a love song, and uh, I just genuinely enjoyed it, and just wanted to bring it to you guys so that uh, so that you guys know that Tamin actually sang ballad. Yeah, <laughs> and I he love sounds that. Sounds great. Yeah, Nab Nab Nabilera as well. You know that's Korean. I thought it was Spanish. It is it's Korean. Nabilera is Nabilera Korean. is Korean. See? <laughs> it's Korean. It's from it's from it's from a poem. Uh-huh. Butterfly. Something. Fly. <laughs> <laughs> it, it means something cool. But it's actually Korean. Oh. I thought I thought it was like Nabilera. Like a spa like a Espanol. I'm not even gonna try. You, you Sam sounds really good, but I'm not gonna try. I, <laughs> I learned this recently. Nabilera, the meaning. Like, it's uh, Korean. That, that it's Korean. It's full Korean. Written, um, um, it's like a, like, um, it's like a, but you're like a butterfly. Oh, yeah, Pim says it's, it's like the, it's like butterfly. Yeah. It's like butterfly. Nabilera means that it's like butterfly. Exactly. But, uh, really? Yeah. Mm. There we go. So we're, we're not alone. We're not alone. We learned something I'm, new. I'm sure people will be surprised yeah. if they knew this yeah. idea or else we're going to be embarrassed. But yeah. Yes. I'm going to spread the word. Mm -hmm. My first time realizing. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, brilliant. We're going <laughs> to... I'm showing off. We're going to play um, your choice then, yeah? yeah? This is not Navilera. I was about to say Navilera. <laughs> <laughs> From the drama. <laughs> this is the drama Navilera's uh, OS song, My Day by Tim. Had sweetness as well. Yeah, I mean the the first line he sings like da 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 da. -da. It's just like it just got me. Yeah, you know, it's, it actually sounded. If you if you kind of like audio wise, kind of like visualize it in a, in a musical way, mm. how if somebody asks me express in a musical way how butterfly would fly, and then this melody. Da, 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 da. Would actually describe how the butterfly flies. I would describe that as Nabilera. Yes, which is Korean. <laughs> we spread knowledge. We spread knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, love that. So there's another S. Sexy, seductive, but sweet. There's another S. Sweet. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. um, cool. All right. Um, we have got lots of messages to get through. Yes, we do. Would you like me to go first? Yes, please, mate. All right. So Kim Sawol Nim actually sent in the message saying, Hello, happy Tuesday, Sam and Niv. The ace of K-pop is back. Uh, K Taemin is undeniably one of the most artistic artists of his generation. And I have been a fan of Shiny for a long time. And I can say I'm really mm. proud of how Taemin grew as an artist. Taemin has so much hit songs that I love, especially Ace, a Pressure Number, uh, Criminal, Want More, and um, uh, and it is still so amazing how he can belt those high notes while performing such a hard choreography among all his hit songs. Uh, I really love his side tracks, uh, such as Black Rose. I love how Taemin's vocals uh, blend with the melody, melodic rap of Kid Melly and Hypnosis by Taemin is another song that I totally love. Taemin proving he could nail those ballads as well. Uh, I love how this song play with your emotions. Taemin's role 
whole emotions just resonates to you feeling the whole emotions of the song Advice by Taemin is another masterpiece. The piano, the singing, the lyrics, all amazing. I like how the song starts with a dramatic piano, then blasts with a very jazzy and catchy melody. Aside from this song, highlights Taemin's wide vocal range. The choreography and the performance is something you should watch too as well. Mm. Good stuff, good stuff. We haven't got a lot of time, so I've got to rush through these. Abinaya yes, yes. says, um, um, I grew up listening to Shiny and Temin's songs, um, and uh, listening to Shiny's and Temin's music helped me so much to complete my school days peacefully. Even when I got three hours of sleep, I never failed to listen to Ring Ding Dong mm. to cheer me up. Uh, Temin has so many good songs, but I select a song called My Day. Mm. What? Time for me to do. Um... Wow. That's not even a well-known, it's one of his OSTs. You on the same, you know, the same wavelength. Mm, good. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> the lyrics are so beautiful. The way Temin's voice mm. makes it more cozy. Uh, feels like receiving head pats on a gloomy day. Thank you for reading my message. Mm. Thanks, Abanael. I'm very happy that we chose the same song. Okay, so I got a message from Wendy. Uh, I'm just going to mention all the songs that she uh, mentioned, mm. uh, which is Thriller, uh, Mystery, Lo- Mystery Lover, Waiting For, and The Call, Think Of You, My Day, and Be Your Enemy. Uh, huh? Have a lovely day. When beer and me. Be be your enemy. I'll be your enemy. What? How did you hear it? Beer and me. Oh, <laughs> That's what... that sounds like a Neve song. <laughs> beer beer and... and me. Uh, a match made in heaven. Beer yeah. and me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> well, there's a song called like whiskey and morphine. <laughs> Exactly. Mm-hmm. Oh dear. Right, Benny writes in, oh man, after his military duties, Timmin's back. Mm-hmm. As of writing, I noticed that he's already back as a soloist. Mm-hmm. Um, not only shiny youngest member, he's a representative dance machine. Here are some songs. Oh wow, that's a lot. Okay, Sonata, Play Me. Uh, Ace, which Tongbang Shingi member Choi Gang Changmin wrote the lyrics for. Pretty Boy featuring Kai of XO, Drip Drop. Posa, Already, Press Your Number. I love Press Your Number, it's a great song. Uh, Ono Gaji Man, Until Today, Jisa wrote the lyrics for that. Goodbye. Um, it's the Korean version of uh, Sayonara Hitori. And uh, Nakwa Bam, Day and Night, love that, that's great as well. Mm. Flame of Love, Heart Stop featuring Sugi of Red Velvet, I'm Crying. Want, Truth, Ah, oh, criminal! Oh, criminal! I forgot about criminal. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 one of the song iconic song. Big iconic one. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, the song idea. Two kids love two kids as well. Uh, famous exclusive. Be your enemy. <laughs> Be your enemy featuring Wendy of Red Velvet. Advice. Sad kids. If I could tell you featuring Taeyeon. Uh, his two year wait would be memorable. Expects a lot of praise from his fellow shiny members and SM artists too. Mm-hmm. Good, uh, great choices, guys. I'm just gonna remember that as a beer in me. But yeah, okay. Beer in me. Last message for Anastasia. I'm just gonna mention uh, yeah. all the songs that she mentioned. Two kids, Nakwabam Day and Night, Criminal, Anajule, Think of You, uh, and Move. Mm. Thank you so much, Anastasia, for sending in your message. Love it, love it. Right, guys. Um, I've got the last song for you guys today. Yes. Um, and my choice. Uh, it's still one of my my favourite from Temin from his 2016 album, his first ever album. Press your number was the title. Song number one is Drip Drop. Drip Drop. Drip Drop. Drip Drip Drop. Uh, such a good song. Uh, there are many reasons why this song is so good. But firstly, um, it's uh, very, very, very uh, rhythmic, which is perfect for Temin. It's, it's like a Temin song. If you imagine a Temin in your head, you think of this kind of music, right? Mm. Amazing electric guitars. Brilliant sort of future based rhythm as well in parts too. Um, and the sort of programmed drums. Um, oh, it, it just, you can't help but nod your head along to this one. And he sounds incredible. Mm. Um, and I love saying, just love saying it. Trip drop, trip drop. There we go. Uh, listeners, that is all we've got <laughs> <Can't help. laughs> time for today. Um, he doesn't sing it like that either. I don't know why we're doing that, but there we go. It just gives yeah. us that idea. It just feels Which like I that. Which I love. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, dude, next week we're talking about a brilliant group. Mm-hmm. We're going to be talking about amazing Golden Child. Golden Child. Mm. Oh, we've got a lot to talk be. about. It's going to be a golden week. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, buddy, have a great uh, week. You too, Sam. Thank you again for having me. I'm your host, Sam Carter. The last song we're going to play is Temin's Drip Drop. Drip Drop. And we'll say goodbye for now. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> All right, love universe. Bye. Drip Drop.
I hope you enjoyed today's podcast. If you're interested in more information about the show Super K-Pop, make sure you go to the official homepage, that is www.adidangradio.com and check out the Super K-Pop page. <laughs>